shorts and a t-shirt yesterday snow today ah bluefield weather kills me but anyway what's up guys and welcome to the vlog uh yeah so it's it's snow a little bit it's supposed to snow one to three inches today look i don't mind the cold and i don't even mind the snow i welcome them but if you're gonna be winter be winter don't be winter and then partially be spring i mean don't be 70 75 degrees one day and the next day be 26 and snow in a couple of inches man that's how people get sick uh, and it's just hard to plan stuff around so but that's the thing about living in the mountains man uh, Or especially where I live in Bluefield. They call it four seasons weather. I mean temperatures will get into the 90s and 100s 90s and hundreds uh, in the summertime and then in the wintertime you get the zeros and negatives sometimes so That's just the thing that we deal with living here, but whatever. I wish if it would snow I wish it would just snow like a blizzard man I wish it would snow like a foot that would be awesome but anyway I'm headed to work uh, gonna work for a little bit and then I'll holler at you guys here in a bit all right guys I'm off work I just dropped Tracy off at CVS uh, she needed to pick something up I just wanted to say something I'm parked on the opposite side of CVS see this back here where it just got brighter the red stuff back there that's CVS and uh, I'm parked on the opposite side because there wasn't any parking spots up there. I just watched the car sit beside of me for 10 minutes, and it's not even that far. Like, you can look out there and see how far it is. See that the building right here, that's CVS, not super far away. I just saw a car park beside of me for 10 minutes, wait for a car to back out, and then after the car backed out, he pulled forward, I guess, so he didn't have to walk the 15 feet across the parking way here, or the whatever, like the lot. I don't know. Uh, I'm not, like I said, like I'm not like uh, any kind of epitome of health, but that's the laziest thing I've ever seen. We are home. You awake, buddy? Mm. No, he's still kind of fighting it. He's got his little, what I call, wrapper jacket on. Looks like he's getting ready to drop some sort of super sick rhyme. Oh, he's awake now. You awake now? Yeah. He said you shone the light in my face. I shone the light in his face? Talking about the ceiling? You turned the light off, son. That didn't shine in his face. So yeah, uh, I think my mom may be coming by for a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. She said that it's a possibility. If she does, me and Tracy will run out and probably hang out for just a minute. If not, I guess we will not run out and hang out for just a minute. We'll hang out here, which is also fine. When we had to go to CVS, Tracy got a couple of gifts for Noah from... Her name is Ashley. So we're going to check. He used to work with her. So we're going to check those out. Some sort of rattle. A ball rattle? Yeah. I'll snap his first pair of keys. Oh, man. First he's, set of keys. First set of keys, yeah. He's moving up Somehow in the world. Somehow he hasn't got any of those yet. That is true. I bet the cats would like those. Yep. Those aren't for the cats. A teether, and I bet you can probably freeze it. A teether. Very cool. <laughs> you enjoying it over there again, bud? A Mickey Mouse teether. A Mickey Mouse teether? When do they start teething? Uh, they can start as early as four months. Good lord. And a really cute Mickey Mouse outfit look. And a cute, oh man. That's awesome. I like that. He can that. probably wear this almost. I bet he could. What size is it? Three to six. He could definitely wear that. He can wear, <laughs> he's freaking out over that thing. Uh, he could definitely wear that, I'm sure. He can wear, he's in three now, isn't he? Yeah. Some three to six months stuff. That top he has on now is three to six. Is it? Yep. He has a Virginia Tech top on right now, and ah. it's not because I like Virginia Tech. It's because Tracy's dad graduated from Virginia Tech. Right, Trey? Yep. So, ah. man, he is still freaking out over that. But, yeah, that's why. Got to get him some Wisconsin stuff. Date night with Trey. Where are we at, Trey? Bob Evans. Bob Evans. Old Robert Evans. This is, like, one of our go-to places. We love it. What did you get? Chocolate pancakes. Chocolate pancakes. Sounds good. I got some French toast, man. I'm super pumped about it. I went back and forth between the soup and the French toast, but I think I'm going to like the French toast. I mean, I know I like the French toast, but I think I'm going to yeah. enjoy that decision. Look at them chocolate chip pancakes. Are they good? I missed your reaction. Yep. Gonna eat me some French toast. You can say it's too rich, but you ate half of it. I did, but that's not very much. Just eat half. That's three, three pan. You ate a, or is that four pancakes? I don't know. It looks like four. So you essentially ate two giant pancakes. Guess I'm gonna try these pancakes. 
They're good. They just make you want to vomit because they're so sweet. So sweet. I'm not going to eat a whole bunch. I'm just going to eat just like, yeah, maybe just a couple. Oh, it hurts. You don't like it? No, it's good, but it's super sweet. Oh, my God. Yeah, that hurts. It's so, like, rich. But it's good. What's up, guys? Long time no see. Uh, I actually came home from eating, ended up falling asleep while putting the baby to bed, and I just woke up. Um, however, it seems better. my lens is always so dusty. I don't know if it shows on here, but I can see it and it bothers me. Anyway, one thing that I've been working on recently is the idea of a YouTube bucket list. Um, things that I would like to accomplish in my YouTube career. And of course, there's always the old saying, writing something down can help you visualize it and it can help you attain those goals a little bit more. So I want to run over, I've got 25 things. This list will expand, obviously. Um, but these are just the things that I've got so far. As I add things to the list, I'll keep you guys updated. And obviously some of these are kind of like, not stretch goals, but they're goals. And then once I get closer to that goal, if I see that it's attainable, then I'm gonna go just a touch higher. So, um, here we go. Number one, I'm actually kind of close to this, 100,000 views total. Um, I'm at like 77,000 right now. Um, so that's probably pretty attainable uh, within, I'd say, I mean, you know, depending on how fast the channel grows, if it grows, uh, easily doable within several months, I would say, honestly. Probably probably six months or a year. Probably six months, I would say, I'd be able to, to obtain that. Number two is a million views. Uh, that's obviously way off, and that depends on the growth of the channel. Three is 1,000 subs, 140 away from that. Uh, four is 10,000 subs, five is 100,000, and six is one million subscribers. That's my ultimate goal, is to be able to get up to a million subscribers. Hopefully I can entertain people enough to where they want to stick around. That is the goal. Now, if I ever get to that goal, we'll see about going forward. But I think one million, I don't think shooting for one million as a small channel is a bad idea. People uh, might get the wrong idea and be like, oh, you're so small, why would you shoot for such a high number? Why would you not shoot for a high number? Like, why would you ever start YouTube and say, hey, I'm gonna do this and I only want 100 subscribers, that's the max. Why not shoot for the stars? Number seven is vlog. Have a vlog with 10,000 views. Uh, I was originally gonna do 1,000 and then I was like, oh wait, I have a vlog with over 1,000 views and that's the one with the um, uh, fidget cube. Um, and I don't know, some people may think it's cheating. It doesn't matter, man. I mean, I tagged it and it was a hot topic at the time and still is, people are watching it. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. So a vlog with 10,000 views, a, thought, a vlog with 100,000 views and a vlog with 1 million views. Now. The one million may seem far off, but again, you never know. Something can strike fire and go viral. It doesn't matter, and I don't think, again, that that is a bad goal. I'm not saying I want to average over a million views per vlog. However, I would not complain if that happened, but I would like to have a vlog with one million views. I think that would be nuts. Next up, uh, vlog in New York City. I think it'd be awesome. I've been to New York City. I obviously, I didn't even have a YouTube channel when I was in New York City earlier uh, in my life a couple of years ago. So I think it'd be cool to vlog in New York City. Um, I'd like to visit a foreign country and vlog, whether it be um, Canada or Mexico or somewhere further away, such as a Japan or I've, I've always had a passion for, I've always wanted to visit Vietnam. So maybe something like that. Uh, number 12, have a sponsorship. I'd love to be sponsored by anybody. Uh, I've mentioned it before, like Gringo Bandito Sauce, Airwalk Shoes. Hey, Airwalk, holler at me. I know that you're releasing those classics, and I'm totally going to buy some coming out March the 17th. So holler at me. I don't mind to have a sponsorship. That would be awesome. Number 13, collaborate with John Hill. John Hill is one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, the next couple are actually collaborations. These are some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I think it would be fun to collaborate with John Hill. Uh, he does a lot of cool skateboarding stuff, and uh, I, I have a passion for skateboarding, albeit I suck and can't do anything, but I enjoy that. Uh, Sean Duras collaboration, Roman Atwood collaboration, and be a guest on Good Mythical Morning. That would be... That would probably be the pinnacle of a YouTube career. If you could become a guest on Good Mythical Morning, that would be nuts. Number 17 would be visit VidCon uh, slash vlog at VidCon. I've never been to VidCon, obviously, but I would like to not necessarily go as a patron, but I'd like to have like kind of the invite, like, hey, we want you to come as a creator. Or it doesn't matter. Honestly, just going to VidCon in general would be pretty awesome. Uh, number 18 is give back to my YouTube channel, and what I mean by that is I want to be able to make enough money to where I can sink it back into prizes and giveaways and stuff like that for the viewers watching and reward people for watching me. I see a lot of channels who make 
bank and don't do a whole lot of that stuff. And I don't want to rely on give backs and, and giveaways. I don't want this channel to become a giveaway channel. However, uh, I would love to give back to the people supporting my channel. And I'm not talking putting giveaway in the tags, like literally just for the people that watch my channel. Number 19 is a vlog in Disney. I would love to vlog in Disney, any Disney, whether it's Florida, California, or even Tokyo, or wherever else they have Disneyland's app. Uh, preferably Florida, simply because uh, it's well, it's closer, but that's not really the big reason. But I have friends in Florida, a guy that watches this channel, RC Cola, Raymond Costanza. He works at Disney, actually, in Orlando. Um, my buddy Gabe, who I've been friends with for a long, long time, lives right outside of Orlando, so I could visit them as well, and they could be in the vlog, and that'd be super cool. Number 20 is have an artist reach out for me to use their music. Now, I've reached out to artists before, as you've seen probably a hundred times in the past few uh, weeks, the Johnny M thing that'll pop up on my channel because I reached out to him and he was like, yeah, totally use my music. That's cool. Just link it, blah, blah, blah. But I'd love to have an artist reach out to me to use their music for my channel. I think that'd be really cool. Number 21 is to vlog in Los Angeles. Um, I've always wanted to visit the West Coast. The furthest west I've ever been is uh, I went to Houston. One of my best friends, Jeff, lived. Uh, he actually lived here, and then his dad got a job in Houston, and they moved to Houston. And I went to spend a summer there. That's where I had a heat stroke. Fair, uh, fun fact. So, yeah, I think it would be cool to go to Los Angeles and vlog, go through Hollywood Boulevard and, like, uh, what is it, Rodeo Drive and crap like that. I think it would be really cool to see. I've never seen any of that crap, obviously. Um, my only experience with it is Grand Theft Auto V, so I think that would be really, really fun. Number 22 is kind of a it's kind of a, a weird one. Uh, I want to either prank or vlog with uh, Big Doss TV. Big Doss TV is one of my favorite channels on here. Dawson, he seems like a super down-to-earth guy. Um, pranking, I don't know. I might be nervous about it because I'm not... Yeah, I kind of feel weird about doing some of that stuff. But uh, anything to do a collaboration, essentially, with Big Doss TV, whether it be via his vlog channel or through his prank channel, I would love to be a part of that. I think Dawson's an awesome guy, and that would be really, really cool. Number 23 would be to make a living from YouTube, um, and here's the thing, if I ever made a living from YouTube, I don't think that I would actually quit my current job. I love what I do. Um, I may try to take a little bit of time away from it as far as maybe even go down to like a part-time thing, but I would never want to lose that job because YouTube is not permanent. You never know how long it's going to last, and um, unless you're making millions from YouTube, I mean, you know, if you were making, say I made $30,000 a year from YouTube, well, who's to say that's going to last for more than a year or two, and then where am I at after that ends? So, um, and I know you have to have faith in yourself and blah, 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 but, you know, I, I wouldn't want to quit that job, but I would love to be able to have enough money to where that would be an option. I could do it. And honestly, main goal, I would love for Tracy to be able to stay home, take care of the kid, and then, you know, I could go to work and do this stuff. I think that would be really, really awesome. Number 24 is camera upgrades. I want to make upgrades to the camera that I use. Right now I'm using my Canon SX50HS camera. Um, super awesome camera, but uh, it's not the best. Uh, it's a point and shoot, so I would like something with uh, the ability to have interchangeable lenses, perhaps a microphone attachment, or I don't know if I want to go the route of, uh, or the route of Roman Atwood and just use like a Canon G7X, just a super small handheld, uh, because I go through different times, you know, uh, maybe have both of them as options. I don't know, but I do need camera upgrades. This camera is like almost two years old no two years old my channel actually just turned two years old oh crap today's today the eighth I don't know what today's date is if today's date is February the 8th my channel is officially two years old today that's crazy Number 25 and the last one, and this is kind of a weird one, you guys may not care about this, I own a home workstation for editing and stuff. Right now I use my laptop, which is like a computer that me and Tracy both use, but I would love to have essentially what would be like a home workstation. So I come home and I could just go to my desk and sit with a desktop and a mouse and a keyboard, uh, upload all my stuff and be able to edit and take care of any business related stuff from there. And as of right now, that is my YouTube bucket list. As I think of more, I will add it to it and I'll keep you guys up to date on that. This list, I'm actually going to write today's date on it, and then uh, just to keep in mind, man, and I'm going to carry this list with me everywhere. I'll put it in my wallet, and uh, as I see things happening, then I will start marking them off, and I will start adding new stuff to continue to up the ante. But I am going to end the vlog here. That video clip is over 10 minutes long, so I'm anxious to see what I can edit it down to. Um, but I thought I would share that with you guys. It's been something I've been thinking about for a long time. I've been kind of scribbling ideas on my phone, and I wanted to formally like, kind of submit it on paper um, that way I could have it with me and I wanted to share that with you guys. So, you know, my intentions is never to stop doing this. Um, I, again, I'm not going to 
quit to go into other ventures or anything like that. Like this is what I want to do. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. But thank you so much for watching guys. I know today was probably a little odd because of, especially from where I fell asleep when I came home, but I wanted to make sure that I got some good content out for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you know any of these guys uh, that I talked about collaborating with or you follow them on Twitter or Instagram, let them know that they are in my bucket list, man. Let's try to make some of this happen. That would be awesome. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow.